I hired the best Apex Legends player in the world to coach me. And, I, oh, God, Imperial How, get out of here. God, no, that, ew, I'm not talking about you. God, we're, talk, we're talking about his Watson. He's just better in every single way, shape, and form. But there's going to be a little twist in this coaching session. I have to give away 100 Apex coins every time he says I do something bad in the video. Be sure to watch to the end to see how much Apex coins his Watson is going to cost me. And I can guarantee that 90% of you that watch this video will learn something that you didn't know before about Apex Legends that can help you guys improve on your gameplay. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so you can't be walking out of Atmo with Sentinel Rampage. I mean, in this meta, like, you have to have an SMG and you have to have a gun that can work close to the mid-range. But yeah, um, generally, I mean, without really, like, going into the whys, like, SMGs are just, like, insane. They're just super versatile. So in any world, is the Sentinel Rampage ever good? No, this is probably one of the worst loadouts I could imagine having. Yeah, damn. All right, so this is where your Rampage Sentinel loadout is going to bite you in the ass because this is an SMG building for sure, mm -hmm. and... You have an uncharged rank. Like if your rampage is charged and you slide into this door, it's a different story. Right. But you're gonna get here and and you'll see immediately why that car, that prowler back there, would have been way more valuable. So oh, I also ran into a gas trap. God damn it. <laughs> also, when you're pushing these kind of buildings, you guys get fried because all three of you slam the same built like door right here. But when you push these buildings, somebody you should split up hardcore. So like somebody could play this this door, someone slides down here, and then like you kind of shoot around, and then someone goes around to the other side and peeks that door. You know what though? I can't take responsibility for their actions. If you want me to be honest, those guys screwed up before I did. I thought it looked pretty good. I thought it looked pretty good. I thought we were gonna look good, but obviously not. Yeah. <laughs> but but here's the thing, especially when, like that I've learned from Realm is that mm -hmm. your teammates can mess up, but it is like. Instead of being like, oh, my teammates threw, it, you should look at it from the lens of like, how could I have carried my stupid teammates? You know, mm, like, I like that. That's the best lens to look at it from because there's been times in Realm, for example, where one of my teammates dies for free and I turn the fight around and we end up winning the fight like 2v3. Like, I hold them off and we res and we win the fight. You know, I just like pop off and do 700 damage and we end up turning it around. So, like, in this scenario, like, this fight is definitely carryable. Yeah, your teammates messed up, but there's a reality where like this could have been carried. Like there's there's players out there that in your scenario would have been able to carry this fight. With my loadout? Yeah, with your loadout. Ooh, probably. okay. No, I'm just <laughs> So one thing I will say is that you don't know where people are when you walk out of this building. You can't say like with 100% certainty that there's not a dude to your left or your right. And so you walk out of this building as caustic, ADSing with a nemesis, walking in like a straight line. So like if anybody sees you right now from the left or the right that you don't know is there you're gonna get clipped. Like, you're just gonna straight up get one clipped. Like, mm -hmm. And I mean, you don't even have to be this far out of the building to see this guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could thirst this guy. Bro, what am I from... looking, what am I doing? Now that you're pointing this out, like, God damn. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I, I mean, can, you... like, most of my vision's on the floor. You can see this guy from the door. There's no reason to be out here. Mm -hmm. You didn't gain anything. You basically just, it's just a complete net loss. I mean, you didn't gain any extra additional information and you just made it possible for you to get shot inside. I mean, even right now, because somebody killed this guy and it wasn't your teammates. This guy got knocked and it, your teammate did not kill him. So like, there could be a guy here or like back here. Like, it is entirely possible you get shot in the back right now and you are Nemesis Charge Rifle Caustic in the open and the bubble's about to go out. Obviously it doesn't end up, it doesn't look like it ends up happening, but yeah, I mean, getting folded here is definitely a possibility. This. <laughs> Oh man. No, no. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> I stood in the, I didn't know the thermite was, I don't even know. Like I, I think they Tony. knew they were coming, they waited. Oh, Tony. Look at my face, <laughs> look at my face. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. So drop, dropping down here, obviously that what you should do in this scenario is go and get an angle on the side. Like you should walk out here and get a side angle because there's no cover underneath here. Like you have to have two angles and you can watch the whole thing. So I mean, it's not much reason to talk about. Yeah. You dropping down. I mean, it's, it's obviously bad, yeah. but we'll talk about this. So you're both committing to an ADS, right? Mm -hmm. You have a cow and he has, an, he has a vault. Mm -hmm. You have twice as big a hitbox and a slower strafe and your gun is harder to hit bullets than his. So realistically, and you're, you know your teammates right next to you. So you should be trying to avoid damage as much as possible instead of trying to maximize damage. I mean, your, your teammate is literally right here. Right. And if you hit fire, you'll, I mean, you'll probably hit him at least once or twice. Mm -hmm. So he'll, he'll die. 
you just need to not die because realistically, if this was just a, a raw ISO 1v1, I mean, I would one clip you every time. Well, duh. So you not dying here is just this guy, like, I mean, he, I mean, he hits you one, Dude, 173. Oh my God, look at my health. I mean, yeah, he, I mean, he hits you 173. Like, and, and I'm surprised he didn't kill you. Like in that scenario, you just kind of have to realize like, okay, I have a scout, I'm caustic. I have a teammate, he's Bangalore with a Volt. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna try to minimize damage instead of trying to maximize my damage. You know, um, it would have saved you a ton of HP there. And also instantly, instead of throwing a thermite, you need to pop a bat. Yeah, you oh need to God. be- I'm, I'm actually getting anxiety looking back at, my, at this right now because I have not healed yet. Yeah, and so if you had popped a bat, you would be full health right now instead of being one HP. And because you haven't really done anything with your one HP. Mm -hmm. It's not like you're like returning fire or anything. So, I mean, you're, oh my God, Tony. I mean, if you're one HP, you just gotta heal. I mean, cause you might fight with one HP and, and win the fight because there is like a dynamic of like, if you're fighting, they, they're they not gonna assume that you're one HP, mm -hmm. but you're also still gonna die in one bullet. Like you might win this fight with one HP, but if another team comes, you're dead, your whole team. Right. Whereas if you have 110 HP, maybe they don't kill you in one bullet and you survive and you can stall and get the res off. Yeah, I mean, you need to value your life a lot more than this is just psycho activity. Like, no, I know. I, and on a serious note, I, I know I do. And I think that to be able to valued my life more i think i it's just i gotta be more in the moment i feel like i play distracted if that makes sense i mean obviously yeah, i'm streaming right like there's that yeah. element but like for me i still have not healed bro what the hell am i, I doing I, you were one hp for 50 seconds before you start popping a phoenix i would have healed in the first two seconds probably i would have started popping phoenix and I mean, you, you get lucky realistically and they just kind of walk into your nades, but that is just pure like luck and them being stupid. I mean, these are, these nades should not do damage, especially like before you threw it. But I mean, yeah, you took 50 seconds to heal. I, I, you should have done it in the first two seconds. Like you should have instantly ran behind the box and started popping the Phoenix. Cause I mean, at any moment in this 50 seconds, like you can pop the Phoenix. And also if another team comes, you're insta dead. Oh yes, the Mozan. This, this, one's, this one's probably good. I mean, yeah. I don't even know where to start on this I, one. I, look, dude, you start anywhere, really. I think let's, we can talk about the thermite walk. We can talk about me jumping in the open. I don't even know where to start on this one. I mean, I for one, you're running with your gun out. Yeah. I mean, I guess you better shoot someone. You're not even acknowledging the Pathfinder. Where? Oh, the one up there? Yeah, the one the one that's hitting me. Yeah, I see him. Now I see him. Can you circle him for me? So that yeah. people can see that maybe didn't see him? That guy. Yeah, I mean, he he's on Bloodhound Scan on a, what could be a head peak. ADSing you, looking at you, about to shoot you, and then your your movement is this. You do this. I mean, this guy should kill you 100%. I feel like you're just not, uh, I feel like your main thing is like, you just don't care if people shoot you. <laughs> I mean, cause he bloodhound scans everyone, and then you just like get tunneled on this right. I mean, I don't, I can't tell if this guy is knocked or not, but this guy is definitely not, and this guy is definitely not knocked. I'm sure you can piece it together. Like, this is just not where you want to stand. You should 100% die right here. Okay, well, one thing I will, I will talk about is when, when this guy peeks you, mm -hmm. You need to try to get underneath him because if what you, what you do is you back up and you give this guy up here LOS and he starts shooting at you, mm -hmm. you should play under here. Mm -hmm. So this guy has to like peek out over the top and you can create an ISO 1v1 instead of walking into a 1v2. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you back up and this guy starts shooting you, but if you had just played underneath here, I mean, you, realistically, you should have died right here. Mm -hmm. If you'd played underneath here though, you would have had at least a semi ISO 1v1 and you wouldn't have had to deal with this guy. I mean, he ends up just whiffing anyways, but. I'm just better at that moment. I was just better. Yeah. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better. But I mean, I know this is pubs, but like. You gotta make better habits. Better. I mean, no, I mean. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't even looking at that. God damn. I mean, I don't even know what to say in this. I mean, like, you have 40 health and you're wide swinging two people with a Mozam. I mean, like, I know it's a pub, but I wouldn't even do that in a pub. This is just psycho. I, yeah, this is just giving me anxiety. Like, oh my God. Like, this is just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, in my opinion, a huge oversight in your gameplay. And like, if you can get the to diamond with having this big of an like uh, oversight in your gameplay, like, yeah, I mean, if you fixed only this, like, you would be way better. If you if you just got better at only managing your HP and being more observant of sight lines and like your strafe patterns, like, mm -hmm. you would be a way better player instantaneously. Like. Just with those like simple fixes, like pretty bad, you know, and it's not, it's not hard to fix, you know? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to work on, you know, it's, it's one game, but I'm going to work on if I get shot, I'm going to, I mean, I'll even call it out to make sure, right? I'm, I'm healing. Yeah. 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 I'm healing yeah. myself. 
I think we'll start with that. I think we'll start. We'll start with one thing. We'll, baby steps. Baby steps. Yeah, yeah. We got friends here for sure coming. I'm gonna land on the far side down here. There's two on our team. Right? I think he's gonna get swung on. Right? Uh, nope, teammates running away. See, car vault, that's a loadout you need for Terraformer. Yeah, I'm, have, I'm running it right now. I, I don't remember what teammates. There are so many dudes up there. Yeah, my, uh, I have, my aim is just gonna make a bolts. decision on who to hit. Uh, do you have light bolts? Nope. Uh, I have to find another gun then. I'm gonna back up. Okay. Can coming up zip. Okay. I'm coming, I swear, I'm coming. There's two by four right there. Okay. Oh, I don't need that. I'm still running that car uh, car bolt right now. Car bolt. Yeah, yeah. So you want you want to try to get like a medium range. Now you just need like an AR. Yeah. yeah. Now you just need some other spray top, gun. Like. I think. Okay. I don't know if you saw that, but that guy just like smoked me for like 110 and mm -hmm. I literally just ran in a circle around the box. I saw that and I was trying to like watch yep. so I can see what you were doing, but you were so good that even your own teammate couldn't see you. I'm not with you. I mean, yeah, I'm just now with you. I just got decimated from that Pathfinder up there. Oh. You're the last one. Complete right, so the mission. With me. All two of them here. Oh, man. Oh. That's all right. Thank you guys for watching the video, and most especially, thank you to his Watson for donating some time to allow me to be a better player. Hopefully, you guys all learned something too, along with me. Be sure to check out and support Watson on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter. TikTok, anywhere you can find him. And of course, if you're interested in hiring his Watson as a coach, be sure to check him out at FPS Lounge. Link in the description to everything will be down below. Also, about the Apex coins, I know it says 700, not a lot. Actually, his Watson, just before our coaching session ended, he told me he's not taking my money. In fact, he wants me to use that money and add to the Apex coins pool and give it back to you guys. So guess what? It just went from 700, I think we're just gonna go ahead and round that number up to 12,000 Apex coins. And you guys, don't forget to subscribe to be entered to win those Apex coins, and I'll see you guys on the next video.